Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the proper way to install a 9.6 volt battery uh, that comes with a lot of the stock Classic Army uh, skirmish guns. Um, and this information will be useful for any Classic Army rifle uh, that has a buffer tube where the battery is stored in a, a crane style stock. So the first thing that you want to do is remove uh, the stock entirely. So you can go ahead, uh, pinch the tabs at the end here, pop that uh, butt plate right off. And then if you pull down on this lower uh, stock latch, you can slide the stock right off. Now we've done this multiple times, so the wires are a little bit kinked, uh, but this is generally how they come in their stock configuration. What you wanna do is essentially take the three wires here, kind of fold them in on themselves, which we'll try to do with one hand and then route them into the buffer tube. Once you've got that done, you can take the MOSFET itself, and you're also going to wanna to put that down inside the buffer tube until what is protruding is just the Tamiya plug itself. Now, obviously, if you are running a Dean's battery, you just pop this uh, extension off and you would be good to go. So give yourself about that much clearance. Go ahead and put the stock back on uh, same way it came off, you're gonna pull that lever down. So once the stock is back on, uh, you can go ahead, slide it all the way down, and now you've got this nice, neat little protrusion uh, with your Tamiya plug. Standard 9.6 battery is going to slide right into the crane compartment here at the end. You would connect those once it is installed. Once the battery is inserted, uh, you can go ahead and in extend the stock that's going to take up a little bit of the uh, spare wiring that's hanging out and it'll lock into place. Go ahead and reinstall the butt plate there. It's a little bit of a firm snap, it should pop right in. And now once the stock and the butt plate are reinstalled, you can see that the stock will slide down the buffer tube uh, more or less freely and you're not going to have to worry about pinching those wires or the MOSFET. And that's pretty much it as far as crane stock style setups go on Classic Army AEGs. Should be good to go. You're not gonna pinch any of the wires in there and you can get out and play.